Hi everyone, welcome back to the break. Um, sorry, we, we couldn't, um, he, um, my grandpa couldn't think of question five, so we decided to take a break and then we, um, we were just going to carry on. He's going to ask me some old-fashioned questions now, is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So we're on question number five. Enjoy. Right, I'll just move now, this. Singularly, you... singularly, singularly, and that is very, very important, the main reason is for safety, to make sure that one train won't go into the one in front. Of course. Because they have to share the same track. So signaling is very important from that point of view, safety. The other important thing about signaling is to enable trains to keep to their timetable. Because the customer, the travelling public, are going to want to know about uh, you know, when the time their train is, you see. So, signaling today is in a, it's about to change. But before it does, we have colour light signals. There are three different colours which are used and which you can see from the platform now. Uh, and they point, and the driver, as he comes along, sees these colours and will know what they mean. So, Question number one, and you probably know all these, but question number one. You did question, oh, you mean question five? I mean question number five. If you see an, what they call amber or yellow signal, light, what does that mean? Amber or yellow, so that means, I know the answer to that. So that means you um, sort of very close to danger, you just got to slow your speed down with the train. Yes, why? Why? Because the next signal ahead might be a red signal. Correct. It might be a red. I can't believe I'm getting this right. Wow. Now, supposing, however, in, for, for some signaling uh, installations, there are four lights. There's a red, which means... Which means this, the, the train has come to a halt and can't move until the signal is green. Correct. Or... Amber. Or amber. Suppose now, so my question this time. Is it question six or question four? six? Mm, question six. Sorry. If you see two amber lights, what does that mean? You see, I was at Kensal Rice Station once on the London Overground, and I did see two, um, two, two yellow signals, and I don't quite understand. I think what it might mean. I have actually no idea. Can you, can you can I explain it? Thank you. Yes. The, I mean, it's two together, one above the other. And it's part of a signal called four aspect colour light. Number four aspect colour light signal. The four available ones are red, which means stop, green, which means you can go as fast as that track allows, and then there are two yellow ones. There may be one on or two. And if the Two yellow lights or amber lights are lit. It means be prepared to slow down because the next signal will be one amber light and then the one following that will be red. Oh. And don't forget that trains might be travelling at any speed, 18, 19 miles an hour. 20 miles per hour perhaps? I'm not too sure. Quite fast. So, so that's why they have... Uh, the possibility of two lamp yellow lights to slow you down. Thanks for explaining. Now, question seven. Question seven. Now, this is relating to a signaling system which is really very rare now. It's called semaphore signaling. Well, I know semaphore signaling. Now, a semaphore signal. This is the old sort of signal ever since railway started. And it's an arm. Now, there are three, there are two positions for a semaphore signal. One is horizontal, like so that. So horizontal, yeah, like that. And the other is either that, up or down. Up or down. Question number six. Hold on, no, we've done six. Seven. Yes, doing seven, yeah. Uh, can I just, I want to check how long, the, sorry. It's, it's just important I always check. Uh, four minutes in, that's all right. So we'll try, I'm, I'm going to try and not make it too long. So we'll do question seven. 
Yeah. What does that mean? The same person. So that means it's a red signal. Compliment. Correct. Wow. <laughs> and at night time, you see a coloured light. At the arm of the signal, there's a glass, two glasses. If it's in that position, it will show a red light, which means stop. If it's in that position, or that position, there'll be a light showing. What colour will that be? In that position, or that position? Yes. So that position will show a green light? Yes, correct. And that one will show a red light? No, also a green light. Oh, it, it, oh, depends oh, on, it, it depends on what sort of signal it is. It's either an upper quadrant signal or a lower quadrant signal. Different railways use different types of quadrant signal at, at different times. Mm -hmm. Great Western Railway used lower quadrant always. And the London and North East Railway, that's the old London North East Railway, had a different system. The arm was pivoted in the middle instead of at the end. So here's a very difficult question. What was the name of that sort of semaphore signal? I don't think I'll know the answer to that. It's called a somersault signal. A somersault? Why? Because it was as though the arm was somersaulting. It was pivoted in the middle. Well, they knew that. That's just a bit of wow. ridiculous. I mean, it's actually knew that. very obvious to that. So it's a somersault signal. Um, now. Shall we maybe do one more question? One more uh, question. Maybe, I think, I don't know why we suggested ten. I think maybe we should do eight questions. Okay, one more I don't want to make the, I don't want to make the video too long, because... Uh, no, no, I mean, you're, you're the cameraman. I'm you're the, the cameraman. Producer, and the producer and everything. So let me think of another... Uh, we're doing one more question, guys. Um, YouTube, we're just doing one more question. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah, my grandpa is very interested in railways, so... I, I, I wanted to do this, and I and if you haven't seen, do you remember when we did the railway interview um, back in twenty in lockdown in twenty twenty? Don't remember that, did we? No, we did we did that. It, um, I, you won't remember the date, but I will. It's the seventeenth of October, twenty twenty. Link is in description. No, what happened was um, um, there was a chair right outside your house, and you, you sat... Yes, I remember that. I remember that. Um, so um, the link will be in the description. Will you do the hand action? The, yes, that's right. The link in the description. Look. Yeah, that's right. Are you copying me? The link is in the description down below. So if I you haven't checked it, um, my voice is a bit um, annoying in that one. So my voice is like a this sort of voice rather than, rather than that sort of voice. So, um, right. So there we go. Okay. Here's the last question. Question eight. And then we're finishing the video, guys. Don't worry. We're talking about track now. Track. And we've got... We're talking about a situation with two tracks side by side, one for trains to go that way, one for trains to go that way, and we've got a junction between the two. In fact, we've got two junctions between the two, one going that way from the left-hand track, and the other one going that way from the right-hand track, and they cross each other over. Yeah, right. Right. like that, right? Yes. And you see them around. Yeah, like, like this YouTube. YouTube. That's right. You see like that? Like that. Right. What is that? Type of crossover called. So that crossover. Hold on. So yes, you've got in effect four points: one here, one there, one here, one there. So that is called a something crossover. And a railway crossover? No, because that would apply to any crossover. But this particular shape. I mean, what does that look like? That, that shape. That shape. Well. It's a diamond. I know it may look like a diamond. A diamond is, is you, that's something else actually. It, it is a railway term. A diamond is a, it's the centre part of a crossing. That's something different, more difficult. That is called a scissors crossover. Oh, a scissors crossover. Why didn't I think of that? YouTube, help me, because I think I've heard that thing before scissors and I haven't thing. actually, I haven't actually, I think it, I remembered it's called a scissors crossover because I, I, Forgot. Wow. Can't remember everything all the time. YouTube, my mind is just completely blank. I, c I can't believe it. Like, well, that's a scissors crossover. A scissors crossover, that. I can't believe it. 
um, I, my mind was just totally blank. So, um, so yeah. Anyways, um, Papa Paul. Um, um, I call him Papa Paul because he's my family. But I'm going to call you Paul today on this video because the camera's recording. Um, I want to say thank you very much for this interview. Will you, okay, just wave goodbye to YouTube for me? Um, this, is, uh, this is on, uploading on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I understand um, that. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will see you in in the. I, this is. Um, I'm just going to say I'll see you in the next video. By the way, I, I always say as always because I always say I see you in the next video. So, wave goodbye with me. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you very much for watching.